Welcome to The Greg Hung Show, where we podcast about travel, lifestyle, and business. Help the ball get rolling, and then Udemy is going to do the rest of the work. Yeah. And so every single individual sale that you can make from your email list or from social media or whatever helps get that started. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's... Still, I think people should do it. Um, teaching online classes. I mean, more people are learning online than ever before. So, yeah, I, I yeah, I still think it's early days in the online teaching space. And uh, yeah, Udemy is one of the the giants that just deep discounts. Skillshare is uh, is there for the more creative type of courses. I actually do better on Skillshare. Really? And, yeah, uh, I'm not. Uh, has that always been the case, or is that more recent? Uh, I think it's the past year. Um, I'm yeah, not surprised. Um, Skillshare has done amazing with their marketing. I don't know if you get the same ads on YouTube yeah, <laughs> as I do. The YouTubers but always plug Skillshare. Yeah, YouTubers are plugging Skillshare. They get celebrities teaching courses, promoting courses. Udemy really should do look at Skillshare and learn from their marketing because you know youtube you, t you think about all these youtubers who are promoting skillshare that's where it's at right now in terms of marketing and wanting you know people to to yeah market your product and so um yeah that i'm not surprised you're doing as well or, or better on skillshare i'm still doing not as well i mean it's mm -hmm. it's always been about 25 percent of my earnings or maybe less but mm -hmm. um but i did do yeah actually but i think last month was my best month on skillshare ever so it's uh good. it's um yeah it's nothing to to bat an eye at people for so long have trash talked skillshare from the udemy circles <laughs> and i've always been a proponent of skillshare and there are some things that are like a little wonky with like yeah. the teacher support and stuff isn't as great. There are some rules that are you don't understand as well or it's not as clear cut, but yeah. it's still a, a pretty good platform to, I think, teach on for sure. Yeah. I like I like how they, you know, you can teach shorter classes. It, it doesn't seem to be as dependent on on the review system. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, like there. It's, it seems like they're when you create a new course these days, like if you mention one one word of your website or it's just so easy to trip the wire and then you'll get an email they'll they'll flag you for a violation, take your course offline, yeah, and they actually <laughs> deleted my whole profile just before Christmas last year uh that was pretty scary um that is scary, so what did you do? You just contact them and I I contacted them and on every single way that I knew how. And what's a little bit scary is that they don't have a direct phone number. Yeah. Um, so I think it was that. And then I made, made a video and I think the message got out to them and I, I got it back within the day, but, and I'm, they missed my payment for, for January. Um, I'm not, and that has happened to several instructors and that's, that isn't fair that that can happen so abruptly with like such little warning because I have been scared of that happening because yeah, when I, the thing that I forget, this is like so specific. I don't know if people care about this kind of stuff, but like the thing that gets me every time I publish on Skillshare, which I don't much anymore because I'm scared of getting getting kicked off for some little like yeah. yeah exactly i mentioned my website in one video but i always upload the promo video and have that as the first lecture on skillshare yeah and for the past like two or three courses i i just need to remember this now i'm an idiot for not remembering i get the notification saying your course has been unpublished you have a violation uh it appears that your course was created for another platform. And I always respond, what, what are you talking about? 
And it's like this weird thing. They're like, well, the first video, it needs to be a welcome video. It can't be a video like promoting your course. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that like kind of makes sense. But I don't get why like the first video of a class can't be like, hey, this is what it is. We hope you enroll. Like we hope you continue, you know, yeah. it's just like a weird specific rule that they have. Yeah, I, I think they might be outsourcing their support you know, somewhere there's, there's, there's a disconnect. Like you can't even say click to enroll. Uh, yeah. The, that's the, the th yeah. Video. That's what gets me. Yeah. Click to enroll. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's things you got to be careful with. Um, but yeah, it's like, that is scary. I, that happened to me. I had the same, I had a nightmare though, that I, my profile was going to get banned. And I was thinking about how would I go about contacting them yeah. and i was like look, i literally did i looked up like the ceo on linkedin and i had like i have this plan in my mind like okay yeah. well if that ever happens which i know it's not like we're trying to game the system at all it's just that yeah. the rules have changed on skillshare over time and so those of us that have been on the platform like it there's maybe some new rule that they posted on some you know rules page that we don't know about and so yeah. It's yeah. Anyways, I guess there's some complaints about Skillshare, but they do good at marketing and I'm not going to complain about the, the revenue that I'm making from Skillshare and I yeah. don't want it to go away. So. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, it was definitely a scary moment. You know, you search your profile and everything's gone. It, it, you know, <laughs> that is scary. Um, that is yeah. scary. Um, That's why people are like, you need to, you know, sell courses on your own site and have control of it. But um, yeah, I'll tell you a funny story about that actually, which is a, a tragedy actually. Oh, um, okay. I, a tragedy for me, a comedy for the students who enrolled, but last year, every year or so I refresh my website. And so I was, I had a, I have for everyone that's listening, I guess, um, I have all my courses hosted on my own site, videoschool.com using teachable. Yeah. And the way I market them is as a membership. So you pay $12 a month and you get access to all my courses. Um, mm -hmm. And so my homepage offer on my website was get a free month of, of my courses, um, a free one month free trial. Yeah. And so all last year, people were signing up through my homepage and I think I had 800 or so people sign up last year for the free trial. And throughout the year, I was like, my revenue is not going up that much. Like <laughs> what, what is wrong? Like what's happening? And you could probably see where this is going, but <laughs> there, there was a point, but I was having, I had twins and I was having a new baby and it's a pandemic. And it's like the lowest item on my, to my, my to-do list to like figure out. But yeah. in the back of my mind, whenever I logged on to teachable, I was like, I'm getting more students, but I'm not making more money. <laughs> and there was some issue where I finally looked into it and I saw, I think someone, you know, the problem was someone emailed me who was a member and was like, can I get a uh, receipt for my, you know, taxes or whatever yeah. for my membership? I've been a member all year. And so I look into his account and I'm like, you haven't paid any money, but you're a member <laughs> and all this stuff. I contacted teachable. I realized I forgot to check the box, which I think was a new box, which wasn't there before. But when yeah. you create a new coupon, you check it to say a free coupon apply to the first month only. <laughs> and what I had done was all those 800 people had signed up and they just got a free membership because it was just a continuous 100% <laughs> off every month. And so, you know, for fortunately for me, it wasn't something that I had to worry about in terms of the lost income. Mm -hmm. But it, who knows what it would have been um, yeah. in terms of, you know, five ten, in the tens of thousands for sure of, of revenue that I lost out. Mm -hmm. um, so I learned my lesson. Now, if you sign up for a free trial, it starts to charge you after a month. Um, yeah. But I'm excited about that too, because it, honestly, for a long time, I was like, well, like my membership's great, but I'm not going to promote it that much because I'm not making that much money from it. Mm. But now I realize why. And so I've kind of upped my promotions of my own site, 
yeah. on social media and stuff. And hopefully that will be a good uh, back uh, backup in, in case Skillshare or Udemy ever goes down or whatever. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm familiar with your school. I um, actually enrolled at some, some point. I think it's good value because you've got so many courses now and you're offering it at the, the same price as a Udemy course, but you get access to 130 courses, right? Yeah. And not, I mean, not all of those courses are on Skillshare, which makes it a little bit different. I mean, a lot of courses are on Skillshare. So, you know, this, I guess the secret's out that someone could get a lot of my courses along with a Skillshare membership, but I don't know what the Skillshare price is. I think it's a little bit higher now. It might be, is it 15 bucks or I don't, I, okay, let's see, go premium. What is this? Oh, it doesn't even give me a price. Just a yeah. seven day free trial, but um, yeah, I think it's around there, 15 bucks. Yeah. A month. And so there's a little bit of difference, but for people who come from Udemy, they, you know, see, yeah, exactly. It's $12 a month and you get all these classes. And especially for the people, you know, photography students who want a handful of courses of mine, it, it mm -hmm. totally makes sense. And um, yeah, well, that's what I'm hoping, anyways, right? And seems to be working a little bit. Okay. So uh, do you mind sharing what, uh, would you say Demi stole the, the highest proportion yeah, of the online? Yeah, let me bring up my uh, revenue report and I yeah, can give you some actual flip, flip data. Over a pie chart. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll start with the lowest, I guess, the lowest sort of standard um, platform that does good for me is I, and I haven't put courses on skill success in a long time, but skill success is there and that's yeah. under a thousand dollars a month. Um, well, I didn't know they're still around. Yeah. Yeah, they are. But I don't, yeah, I don't know really what they're doing, but they still pay me. So that's good. Yeah. Um, my platform video school, I'll probably make about two thousand, two to $3,000 a month from there. Wow. Um, Not bad.